right so this is 600 question stewart we have discussed up to question number 15 right so all the 600 questions are new questions i think you know it uh let's go to a we have discussed the first 10 questions we have discussed the first 10 questions then uh we completed question number 11 and question number 12 13 uh, we discussed question number 14 uh, 15 uh, did we completely discuss question 15 also dear Somebody unmute the mic and tell me. No, sir. Uh, up to which point that we discussed it, dear? We only find it. Was the... mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh, let me check it. Give me a minute. Let me check it. Let's discuss question. Uh, let, first of all, let's complete question number 15. After that, let's, uh, let's start the rest. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay, uh, let's dis uh, uh, let's revise everything from the beginning and let's complete it first. Okay, dear, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir, can hear. Right. So let's start from question number fifteen. I am going to discuss everything from the beginning. Uh, listen carefully uh, and write the things. Uh, uh, once you reach to the point that you have stopped, uh, continue writing from that point. Okay, dear. Uh, okay, what, about the, uh, what about the video? Is, is it clear or not the video? So it's a bit blurred. Mm. Uh, if video becomes not clear uh, continuously, uh, send me a uh, just send me a, a message to Zoom chat, right? I, I think a uh, video will be okay soon, but if not, uh, send me a message. Please wait a few minutes. Uh, and if video is not clear, send me a message. Was it clear during the uh, play of the recording? Okay. I, played, I played the recording. Was it clear during that recording? Yes, sir. It was clear. Yes, sir. Ah, okay, then uh, this will also be clear. Let's continue, yeah? Right? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll read the question. Two metal balls of masses. Six kilogram and nine kilogram are connected by a light string. 
by applying a vertical force of 160 newton to 6 kg ball the system is moved up with a constant acceleration the masses of the two objects 6 kg and uh, 9 kg uh, find the acceleration of the system right uh, if you want to take a screenshot and let me solve this problem. I'm going to solve the problem. You just look at board because uh, I think you in Sunday morning uh, paper class also we discussed a past paper question very similar to this. Do you remember it there? Who joined the Sunday morning class and remember this question? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Similar question, right? Similar question. So here also, uh, light string, light string means no mass, no mass. Uh, let me draw it. Let me draw the figure. Uh, but before that, if you want, please take a screenshot of a whiteboard because I'm going to erase everything. So if you want, please take a screenshot. Okay, let me draw the figure, but in uh, not in this format. So, let me use the word system. System. System means everything. The system means everything. For example, if you want, you can see me as parts. Right hand, left hand, head neck, body, and legs. Or oh, you can uh, see me as one object, a human. Even though my parents uh, don't believe me, you can think a uh, teacher is a human. Ah. So, or oh, you can consider as, uh, as parts, one hand, second hand, head, neck, body, and so on. Or oh, you can consider everything, you can take everything together and take and tell a human. So here I'm not going to worry about the ball here. I'm not going to worry about the ball there. I'm not going to worry about this. I consider everything as a system and I'm going to write mass of the system. Mass of the system. Uh, let me take this as capital M equals mass of the first ball uh, 6 kilogram mass of the second ball, 9 kilogram. After the mass of system is 15 kilogram. Mass of the system is 15 kilogram. So I have indicated mass of the system by capital M. Therefore, the weight of the system. Somebody unmute the mic and tell me if the mass of the system is capital M. If the mass of the system is capital M, what should be the weight of the system? Somebody? Hello? 10 M, sir. How that? 10 M. If the so 10 mass into capital system, M. Listen, listen carefully. If the mass of the system is capital M kilogram, what should be the weight of the system there? Capital M, M into capital M G. I know, isn't it? M into capital M into simple G. Ah. 
the total force acting on the system is uh, given as here the 160 newton 160 newton under the influence of 160 newton and capital mg force do not forget to use capital m capital mg force the entire system is moving up with an acceleration of simple a meter per square seconds i'm going to find this simple a so for the question number 15 draw this figure with these dotted lines indicate it as a system and write the mass of the system as 6 plus k uh, 9 so i'm going to consider everything together as a single object the single object is said to be the system draw it draw and write down everything that i have written on the board But again, sir, London Bridge group is a permanent online class group. And uh, how is our chemistry class, dear? Our Sena and I guess chemistry class. How was it? <laughs> Many good teachers, but uh, the the can for the uh, for the students can be Kurunagal, Mavanal, Kagal accelerations. Look at board to the system to the system vertically upward. We apply the equation F equals M A. The upward force 160. What is the downward force? Somebody please tell me. What is the downward force? Capital M. What is the downward force, dear? Capital M G. 150 newton. If you want to make him, what is this? Sir, 100. Capital MG. Capital MG. The downward force is capital MG. I want to do Capital MG. Mass is capital M. Acceleration is A. I wanted to indicate capital M. Capital M means the total mass of the system. Like 160 minus capital M. 15 g is 10 this is 15 acceleration is simple a 160 minus 150 equal 15 times a 160 minus 150 is uh, 10 equal 15 a so if you take 15 to this side you will get 10 divided by 15 equal simple a so simple A equals five, 10 divided by 10 divided by 5 is 2, 15 divided by 5 is 3. So acceleration is 2 by 3 meter per square seconds. Complete it. Is everything clear? Right, uh, I think you have written everything. Uh, let's try to discuss the rest of the question. If you have any further doubts, you can ask before I show you the rest of the questions. Uh, do you have any other uh, difficult points there? Should I explain any of these things further? 
No, so it's okay. Right, everything is okay. So let me show you the rest of the question. Uh, that is question number uh, 13 we completed, 15, 14 completed, 15. So Roman number one, find the acceleration of the system. We have answered it, right? We have found the acceleration of the system. Okay, somebody unmute the mic and read Roman number two and Roman number three, two and three questions. Draw the free force diagrams of the objects and the string. Uh, the letters are blurred, sir. What are the tension forces acting at? Right. They asked us to draw the free force diagrams. Free force diagrams means we should draw all the forces acting on each object separately. What should we do? We should draw all the forces acting on the object separately. Right. So now I'm going to uh, discuss it. Uh, look at board carefully. I'll explain everything. Uh, don't worry about this. If you want, uh, you can take a screenshot if you want the questions, but I will send you this to you. Okay. So uh, we have drawn the complete diagram. Everything we have considered as a one object and we have applied a equal MA to find the acceleration. That's what we did. Now we are going to draw the free force diagrams. Right, look at board carefully. So, uh, if I consider this 6 kg object, if I consider this 6 kg object, 6 kg object, it's moving up with an acceleration of, I forgot the acceleration. Somebody please tell me the acceleration of the system here. Somebody in the class. 2 over 3 meter per second, sir. Uh, 2 over 3, two meter. Over three meters. Over three. Second. Meter per square second. So everything is moving with the same acceleration of 2 over 3. So acceleration of this is 2 over 3 meter per square seconds. So according to Newton's first law of motion, for an object to be moved with an acceleration, it needs an external unbalanced force. So why, uh, what is the external unbalanced force acting on this? 6 kg object. Somebody unmute the mic and tell me. 160 Newton, sir. 160 Newton, 160 Newton. 160 Newton. Sorry, again. One sixty Newton. Four Newton. 
फोर न्यूटन चेक अगेन दिस वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी न्यूटन फोर्स इज डिरेक्टली एक्टिंग ऑन द सिक्स के जी ऑब्जेक्ट द सिक्स के जी ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूड ऑफ because of this external vertical force of 160 newton okay or not ah huh? okay sir okay, okay. sir right then the uh, the screen somebody unmute the mic and tell me why this string is moving there are two reasons for the string to be moved so what is the first reason for this string to be moved up it is connected to 6 kg object because the string connects the two objects because the string is connected to the 6 kg object because the string is connected to the 6 kg object when the 6 kg object is moving up it is pulled the string upward by giving a force when the 6 kg object is moving up it 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 pulls the string upward by giving a force the 6 kg object is connected to the string for some reason when the 6 kg object is moved up by this force this 160 newton force the 6 kg object pulls the string upward by giving a force let me mark that force let me mark that force as t1 newton who gives this t1 newton force dear unmute the mic can tell me who gives this t1 newton force 6 kg object 6 kg object now somebody unmute the mic can tell me newton's third law of motion newton's third law of motion has an Every, every action, action has, has an equal and opposite reaction every reaction has equal and opposite reaction so if the 6 kg newton force a uh, if the 6 kg object gives a force of t1 newton to the string the string should give equal and opposite reaction force to the 6 kg object the equal and opposite reaction force given by the spring to the 6 kg object let me mark it as f1 so this f1 and t1 equal in magnitude opposite in the direction they are the forces explained by newton's third law of motion action force reaction force okay and uh, when you after you have drawn the figures i'll give you a further description i'll explain this further again Ah, now look at board. Why this nine kg object? This nine kg object is also moving up with the same acceleration of two over three meter per square seconds. Why is this object is moving up? Why is it moving up? Somebody unmute the mic and tell me. The thing is connected to the nine kg object. as the, the spring is connected, connected to the 9 kg object hello there are two reasons actually as the 9 kg object is connected to the connected to the 9 very good the first the reason 9 kg object connected to the spring second reason as they are connected together it gives a force the to the 9 kg object up, it pulls the 9 kg object up it means the string is giving the string is giving a force to the 9 kg object let me mark that force as f2 newton who gives this f2 newton force unmute the mic and talk to me who gives this f2 newton force dear the the string the string gives f2 newton force to the 9 kg object now somebody unmute the mic can tell me newton's third law of motion newton's third law of motion 
Every action has an equal and an opposite reaction. Every action has equal and opposite reaction force. So when the string gives a force of F2 Newton to the 9 kg object, the 9 kg object should give equal and opposite reaction force T2 Newton. This is action force T2 is the reaction force. These T1 and T2 forces are said to be the tension forces. What are they called here? This T1 Newton force and T2 Newton force are said to be the tension forces in the string. As the string does not have a mass, actually T1 and T2 are equal. But I am going to prove that T1 equals to T2. I am going to prove it. In addition to the FEX force and F1 force, another force is acting on the 6 kg object. What is that force here? Huh? In addition to 6 kg, uh, this FEX force and F1 force given by the string, another force is acting on the 6 kg object. What is that force? Gravitation and traction force. Somebody. Gravitational force. Sorry. Gravitational, Gravitational attraction force. Gravitational attraction force. Very good. Gravitational attraction force. So let me mark the gravitation attraction force acting on this object as M1 G Newton. M1 G Newton is the gravitation attraction force acting on this object. Similarly. In addition to this F2 force, another force is acting on this 9 kg object. What is that force here? In addition to F2, there must be another force acting on the 9 kg object. What is that force? Gravitation attraction force. Gravitation attraction force. So gravitation attraction force acting on the 9 kg object as M2G Newton. Please draw the free body diagrams. After you have drawn, I'll give you further description and I'll again explain. Draw the figures, mark everything that I have marked on the figures. Quickly start.
okay sir right uh, i think you have drawn them right look at board look at board uh please write in the point form these descriptions very important so please write the descriptions they will be very important for you okay so please write if you want you can write star points and write 6 kg object is moved up write in the point form 6 kg object is moved up by 100 and by the 160 newton force 6 kg object is moved up by the 160 newton force by the 100 60 newton force full stop 6 kg object is moved up by the 160 newton force by the 160 newton force full stop next line next point as the string is connected as the string is connected to the 6 kg object as the string is connected to the 6 kg object as the string is connected to the 6 kg object comma as the string is connected to the 6 kg object comma comma when the 6 kg object is moved up is moving up when the 6 kg object is moving up when the 6 kg object is moving up comma as the string is connected to the 6 kg object comma when the 6 kg object is moving up comma it pulls the string upward it pulls the string upward it pulls the string upward it pulls the string upward, the string upward by a force of by a force of t1 newton by a force of t1 newton when the 6 kg object is moving up comma it pulls the string by a force of t1 newton if you want to repeat please tell me if you want to repeat please tell me right next line next point according to newton's third law of motion according to newton's third law of motion comma according to newton's third law of motion comma when 6 kg object gives a force according to newton's third law of motion comma when 6 kg object gives a force to the string when 6 kg object gives a force to the string comma the string should give equal and opposite reaction force when 6 kg object for a uh, object gives a force to the string comma the string should give equal and opposite reaction force to the 6 kg object should give equal and opposite reaction force to the 6 kg object 
six kg object. Full stop. That force is marked as that force is marked as simple F1 on the 6 kg object. That force is marked as simple F1 on the 6 kg object. Right. Uh, who would like if I repeat the knot? Anybody in the class? Okay, now I'll give you a chance to read the note. Uh, somebody in the class, please read the note from the very beginning, slowly, clearly, loudly. Start, somebody. AG object is moved up by 160 Newton force. Next point, as the string is connected to the 6 kg object, comma, when the 6 kg object is moving up, comma, it pulls the string upward by a force of T1 Newton. Next point, according to Newton's third law of motion, comma, when 6 kg object gives a force to the string, comma, the string should give equal and opposite reaction force to the 6 kg object. That force is marked as F1 on the six kg object is moved up by 160 Newton force as the string is connected to the 6 kg object when 6 kg object is moving up it pulls the string upward by a force of t1 newton according to newton's third law of motion when 6 kg object gives a force to the string the string should give equal and an opposite reaction force to the to the 6 kg object that force is marked as f1 on Yeah, that force is marked as F1 on 6 kg object. Ah, thank you, dear. Uh, I would like if one more student read the note from beginning to the end, slowly, loudly, neatly. Don't waste the time. Quickly unmute the mic and read the note from the very beginning. One more student. The 6 kg object is moved up by the 160 Newton force. As the string is connected to the 6 kg object, when the 6 kg object is moving up, it pulls the string upwards by a force of T1 Newton. According to Newton's third law of motion, when 6 kg object gives a force to the string, the string should give equal and opposite reaction force to the 6 kg object. That force is marked as F1 Newton on the 6 kg object. Right. Is it clear or may I explain it again? Two students helped us. Clear. Right. Okay. Right. So please write. Please write. The string is connected to the 9 kg object. The string is connected to the 9 kg object. 
the string is connected to the 9 kg object full stop therefore the string is connected to the 9 kg object full stop therefore when the 9 kg when the string is moved up therefore when the string is moving up when the string is moving up comma it pulls the 9 kg object by giving a force of simple f2 newton it pulls the 9 kg object by giving a force of simple f2 newton the string is connected to the 9 kg object therefore when the string is moving up it pulls the 9 kg object it pulls 9 kg object by giving a force of simple f2 newton Will stop. Leave a line and write. According to Newton's third law of motion, leave a line and write. According to Newton's third law of motion, comma nine kg object. According to Newton's third law of motion, nine kg object gives equal and opposite reaction force to the string. according to newton's third law of motion 9 kg object gives equal and opposite reaction force to the string equal and opposite force to the uh, string that reaction force is marked that reaction force is marked as capital t2 on the string that reaction force is marked as capital t2 on the string right now somebody unmute the mic and read that note also from the very beginning somebody quick the string is connected to the 9 kg object therefore when the string is moving up it pulls the 9 kg object by giving a force of f2 newton according to newton's third law of motion 9 kg object gives equal and an opposite reaction force that is marked as
So a string is connected to the 9 kg object. So when the string is moving up, it pulls the 9 kg object by giving a force of simple F2 Newton. According to Newton's third law of motion, 9 kg object should give equal and opposite reaction force to the string. I have marked that uh, force as T2 Newton. Right. Uh, next star point. In addition to the above forces, next star point. In addition to the above forces, in addition to the above forces, comma, gravitation attraction forces given by the earth in addition to the above forces comma gravitation attraction forces given by the earth are marked as m1g and m2g in addition to the above forces comma Gravitation attraction forces given by the Earth are marked as M1G and M2G. Uh, if you want to repeat, please tell me. If you want to repeat that point, please tell me. Anybody in the class? Okay, now look at board. We can find F2. By applying F equal MA to the 9 kg object, if we know F2, we know that F2 equal to T2, that is Newton's third law of motion. Look at board. Look at board. Only to 9 kg object vertically upward, I apply the equation F equals MA. Only to 9 kg object vertically upward, I apply the equation F equals MA. The upward force acting on the 9 kg object is F2. The downward force acting on the 9 kg object is M2G Newton. Thus, the total upward force is F2 minus M2G. The total upward force acting on the 9 kg object is said to be the resultant force what is the term that we use here resultant force resultant force acting on the 9 kg object is uh, f2 minus m2g mass is 9 acceleration uh, is 2 by 3 acceleration is 2 by 3 we don't know what the f2 is m2 is 9 g is 10 9 divided by 3 is 3. This is 2. F2 minus 9 times 10, 90. 3 times 2, 6. F2 equals 6. Minus 90 come to this side as positive 90. Therefore, F2 equals 96 Newton. F2 equals 96 Newton. But we know that, but we know that F2 and T2 are action reaction forces given by Newton's third law of motion. Therefore, if F2 is 96 Newton, T2 is also 96 Newton. So therefore, T2 equals 96 Newton. T2 is 96 Newton. Complete India, write them all, and if you have any further doubt, just unmute the mic and ask or send a message to the Zoom chat. Start.
right uh, the next thing is finding uh, the force p1 so look at both to find p1 only only to 6 kg object only to 6 kg object vertically upward we apply the equation f equals m a if you consider this 6 kg object there is only one upward force and there are two downward forces m1 g and f1 m1 g and f1 so uh the upward force f e x summation of the downward forces m1 g and f1 can you understand upward force f e x the sum of the downward forces m1 g plus f1 therefore the resultant upward force is upward force minus summation of the downward forces so what is this here the forces uh, this square bracket shows the resultant upward force upward force minus summation of the downward forces is the resultant upward force the mass is 6 kilogram acceleration is 2 by 3 acceleration is 2 by 3 acceleration is 2 by 3 uh, if ex is 160 let me remove the brackets let me remove the brackets then i'll get minus m1g minus into positive minus f1 6 divided by 3 6 divided by 3 is 2 and this 2 will be there 160 minus m1 is 6 g is 10 minus f1 equals 2 times 2 4 160 minus 60 minus f1 equals 4 160 minus 60 is 100 minus f1 equals 4 if i take 4 to this side if i take 4 to this side 100 plus 4 from this side dash minus 4 minus f1 goes to the other side dash positive f1 then I'll get F1 equals 100 minus 4 is 96. But we know that F1 and P1 are equal. F1 and P1 are equal. So therefore, the tension force is also 96 Newton. So we have clearly proved that. We have clearly proved that both P1 and T2 tension forces are equal 96 Newton each. Got it? So uh, when the connecting rod, when a connecting rod or a string uh, does not have a mass, the tension forces at the ends are equal. Complete? Uh, so we have completely answered question number 15. Okay? Complete it there.
Uh, did you write them all here? Do you, uh, anybody wants any more time to write the things? Is there anyone who wants more time to write the things? Hello? Can you hear me? No, sir. Yes, sir. Then Shall we go to question number 16? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So if you want any more time, please take a screenshot. Uh, I'm going to go to question number 16. I'm going to discuss it. So this is question number 15. This is what we discussed uh, now. So let's go to question number 16, uh, this one, the question number 16 of 600 questions to you. Uh, can somebody read the uh, description? Unmute the mic and read the description to somebody in the class. Mute your mics. Everybody can hear you are fighting. Okay, can somebody unmute the mic and read the question, dear? Someone in the class? A tractor is used to move a stone as shown in the following figure. The tractor and the stone are connected by a hot metal rod of mass 200 kg. Right, that is the most important point. What is it, dear? Listen. In the previous question, the string does not have a mass, but here, the connecting rod, this one. The connecting rod has a mass. What's the mass of the connecting rod, dear? 200 kilograms. So if a or a string has a mass of 200, uh, has a mass, the tension forces at the ends are not equal. The tension force at this end, if I mark this as uh, T2, if I mark the tension force here as T1, the T1 and T2 are not equal if the connecting rod has a mass. Can you understand here? That's the point. Right now, let's go to the question. So, what is the uh, mass of the road is given two hundred kilogram? Uh, what about the mass of the other objects? Let me erase the things that I have drawn. Okay. Next page. All ah, right. So the complete question is given in the other page. Huh. Somebody unmute the mic and read the question here. Somebody unmute the mic and read the question. The mass of a stone is 1,600 kilogram and that of the tractor is 2,200 kilogram. The force given by the engine of the tractor 
is 13 kilonewtons. The frictional force acting against the motion of the tractor is 2400 newtons. The coefficient of friction between the stone and the ground is 0 0.6. Uh, please uh, read the questions also, A, B, C, D, D, yeah? please. Question A, calculate the friction force acting on the stone. B, what is the acceleration of the system? C, draw the free force diagrams of the objects and the metal rod. D, what are the tension forces acting at the ends? Right, let's give her a try. Let's give her a try. Oh, what has happened to my board? Wow. What can I do? <laughs> So I'm not at my usual place, but let me correct it. Right, is it okay now? No. Can you see this edge? Oh my God. It's you are, we are able only to see the top. Wait, 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 wait. Now I think it's okay, right? Manageable, right? Okay. Somewhat okay, right? Manageable. Right. Uh, what is the mass? What is the mass of the tractor? What is this? Let me keep it like this. 2,200 kilograms, sir. 2,200 kilograms. Thank you, Buddha. That is the mass of the tractor, right? So mass of the tractor is 2,200 kilograms. What is the force generated by the engine of the tractor? Somebody? 13 kilonewtons, sir. 13 kilonewton. Very good. Force generated by the engine of the tractor is 14 kilonewton. 14 means 10 to the power 3. Then. 13, sir. 13, sir. 13, sir. 13 kilonewton. 13 kilonewton. Kilo means 10 to the power 3. Hardy. Uh, mass of the stone. Someone? 1,600 kilograms, sir. 1,600 kilograms. 1,600 kilograms. Weight of the stone is acting downward as M3 times G. The normal reaction force is acting as R3 Newton. In addition to these two forces, in addition to these two forces, uh, there will be a force given by the connecting rod. The force given by the connecting rod, let me mark this as F2 Newton. Then there will be a friction force. I mark the friction force. There is a friction force. Uh, let me mark the friction force as uh, 
if a sorry if b if b is the friction force acting on the stone wait this is the friction force uh, then let me draw the connecting rod connecting rod the connecting rod has given f2 force to the stone who has given this f2 force dear hello who has given this connecting f2 rod, force sir. connecting rod when the connecting rod has given a force of f2 to the stone the stone should give equal and opposite force according to whose law dear whose law is that the newton's third law newton's third, newton's law, third law of motion so when the stone gives a force of f2 to the when the rod gives a force to f2 to the stone the stone will give equal and opposite force let me mark this as t2 so this f2 and t2 forces are said to be action reaction forces action reaction forces right my question is why this rod uh, why this tractor is moving why is it moving the uh, tractor somebody somebody unmute the mic and tell me the reason for the tractor to be moved so because of the external force because of the external force given by the engine that is 13 kilo newton am i right dear hello yes sir yes sir yeah now my question is uh, why this rod yes, is sir. moving why the rod is moving hmm? so because, because it, it is connected to the track it is connected to the tractor that's the first reason a second reason due to the force uh, given by the tractor sir due to the force given by the tractor to the rod the force given by the tractor to the rod let me mark it as t1 the tractor has given a force of t1 to the rod then what should rod do here what should it do? It give an equal and opposite force. It should give reaction force. equal and opposite reaction force. So when the tractor gives a force of T1 to the rod, the rod should give a fo opposite force. Let me mark this as F1. Again, this F1 and T1 are action reaction forces got it do th how they said some anything about the friction force acting on the tractor dear how they said something like that they don't uh, say anything about friction force acting on the tractor right Two thousand four hundred newton. Uh, they have given the frictional force acting against the motion of the tractor is two thousand four hundred newton. They are uh, the frictional force acting on the tractor. Let me mark it as F A. That is two thousand four hundred newton. Am I right, dear? Is it two thousand four hundred? Yeah, two thousand four hundred newton. So, uh, so this is the friction force. If I want, I can mark the weight of the tractor as M1G. There will be two normal reaction forces as R1 dash and R1 double dash for the two wheels. But I think they don't they have not asked them. Draw the free body diagrams. Draw the free body diagrams. After that, let's discuss. So this is question number 16. Question number 16.
question number 16 of 600 question state draw the uh, figure here draw all the figures they are said to be free body diagrams start Shevin, what are you doing? Uh, somebody please take a screenshot of this uh, whiteboard and send to our groups, dear. Somebody please take a screenshot and send to our WhatsApp groups, dear. Or directly send uh, it to my WhatsApp, dear, note 78 WhatsApp number. It will be a big help because uh, it is said that screen is not clear for some students.
Uh, if the screen is not clear, please check the WhatsApp group here. I have sent you some screenshots.
Uh, did you draw the figure, dear? Do you want any more time to draw the figure? Hello? No, sir. No. No, sir. No, sir. Right. Uh, the first thing is, you see that okay, sir. the stone is not moving up and it is not moving down. The stone is not moving up and it is not moving down. So the upward force and downward force are equal. As the object is not moving up, as the object is not moving down, the upward force and downward force are equal. Am I right? So uh, please write, as the stone does not have yes, any... Yes, dear? Okay. As the stone does not have any vertical motion, as the stone does not have any vertical motion, comma, as the stone does not have any vertical motion, comma, uh, this upward force R3 and the downward force M3G are equal. So M3G, uh, mass of the stone, 1,600 kilogram. G is given as 10. So 1,600 into 10 is 16,000. 16,000 Newton. Please complete this there. So we have found the normal reaction force given by the ground to the stone as 16,000 Newton. 16,000 Newton. Right. Then uh, how do you find the friction force there? The friction force acting on a moving object can be found by the equation mu k times r. F equals mu r. Uh, somebody unmute the mic and tell me uh, the coefficient of kinetic friction between the stone and the ground. Somebody? Somebody unmute the mic and tell me. 0 0.6, sir. 0 0.6. 0 0.6, sir. 0.6. R is 16,000 Newton. So then 0 0.6 can be written as 6 over 10 into 16,000, right? So we can cancel out the zeros like this. This zero and this zero, right? Then uh, 6 times 0, 0. I can't see it if I write it here. So let me write here. 6 times 0, 0, 6 times 0, 0, 0, 0, 6 times 6, 36, 3 remaining, 6 times 1, 6 plus 3, 9, 9,600 Newton. Got it? Complete it here. So that's the friction force acting on the stone. I think that's the first question that they have asked. Am I right, dear? It is the first question that they have asked. Uh, somebody unmute the mic and tell me the mass in 2 dear. Somebody please tell me the mass of the road. 200 kilograms. 200 kilograms. Right. Now we want to, uh, we know FB. We, uh, we don't know F2. Yeah, we don't know it. Uh, here, have they given us the acceleration? Uh, what's the next question, dear? Question number one. Calculate the friction force acting on the stone. We did. What is the acceleration of the system? 
So how do you find the acceleration of the system there? If you consider the entire system, it means if you consider everything as a single object, if you consider everything as a single object, look at board to the system, right? So there is a stone, uh, there is a connecting rod, and there is a tractor. Right? Uh, I'll not draw the ground because it will be difficult for me to uh, mark forces if I draw the ground. The external force acting on the system, several external forces are acting on the system, right? The first external force is the force given by the engine. Force given by the engine. Let me mark it here. Force given by the engine, that is 13 kilonewton. And there is a friction force acting against the motion of the tractor. There is a friction force acting against the motion of the tractor. I have marked it as FA. FA. They have given the value of FA as 2400 Newton. And there is an, another friction force acting against the motion of the stone here. I have marked it as FB. Now we have found FB as 9,600 Newton. Got it? Right, so those are the forces acting on the stone. Got it? Uh, system. So system means the combination of stone, the rod, and the tract. When you consider everything together, uh, tension forces are cancelled out there. If you consider all the things, the uh, only the tension forces are actually internal forces to the system. So when the entire system is considered, there are three forces: the force given by the engine, 13 kilonewton; the friction force acting against the motion of the tractor, that is 2,400 newton; and the friction force given by the ground to the stone, that is 9,600 newton. So please write to the system. Draw the figure. After that, we are going to apply F equals MA to the system. Complete it, dear. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, yes, sir. I'm listening. Sir, the body is not clear, sir. Body is not clear. Uh, yeah. I'll take a photo and send to the WhatsApp group. Give me a minute. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir.
Check your WhatsApp groups, dear, please. Uh, is video okay now, dear? Please check whether the video is okay now. Please tell me. No, no sir. sir. It still says network bandwidth is low, sir. Uh, did you receive the photo of the uh, screen, uh, screen, dear, whiteboard? Yes, sir. Uh, how about it? Is it okay? Can you manage uh, it with the WhatsApp photo, dear? Yes, sir. the WhatsApp photo is clear, sir. Okay, please use the WhatsApp photo and complete the note. Uh, draw this figure and send me uh, send me a message to Zoom chat uh, saying done. Then I can go to the calculations. Okay, dear. Because uh, I am in a village area. That's okay, a, sir. Okay, sir. In this area, I don't have a, a good network connection. And the other thing is, I didn't want to stop the class today. Let's uh, manage uh, somehow. Right, so uh, as you have the WhatsApp figure, I'll erase uh, the bottom part of the board and I'll apply a equals in me. Right, look at board 